So here we are again, live from Brattleboro, <laughs> with Emerald Ray. Hello, hello. And, and our one audience member, Kathy, thank you so much for coming. <laughs> <laughs> and I hear we have more people coming. We might have... Well, we it just rained. It just rained. It just rained super hard. <laughs> we might actually increase the audience by by 300%. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a really big increase. <laughs> um, why don't you do Magic Mirror? Oh, okay. And I'm gonna so I'm gonna do a little sound check. I'm gonna like just kinda listen to the sound. You're gonna sneaky listen to the sound? And actually here. We have extra sound sounds. Sound out check out in the house. Out in the, the virtual house. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do a song called Magic Magic Mirror without my bow. I have a little flappy thing that I do with my fiddle here.
lovely. Thanks. I loved your little oh. Quebecois. <laughs> I was thinking, we were thinking of like hooking up a whole stomp box thing here, but we didn't, we decided to keep it simple. But actually, we could just like kick the mic stand on time. We actually could. <laughs> could do that. Boink, boink. Actually, I don't know I if that's good. <laughs> I want to ask uh, Allison, is the, is the volume better How does out it there? sound out there, ladies? Oh, we have audiences too. Yay. Hi. Um, How are you? I turned it up a little bit. What's your name? Sandy. Sandy thanks so much for coming. Oh, <laughs> I'm Emerald. Nice to meet you. So should we do some tunes from from Fra this Shetland? From, uh, yeah, these are these are some funky ones oh. that I love. Oh, um, this is my favorite tune. I know we love these tunes. Where's my bow? <laughs> so this, we used to play these <laughs> tunes all the time. This was like Where's a set. Bow? I guess this is a regular set. But we used to play these tunes all the time with um the uh, with Mary Kay Brass and Stuart Kenny and David Cantor. <laughs> Greenfield Dance Band we used to play this all the time. This yeah. was like my favorite. There's Scottish ever. tunes. I I learned them well, I there are Scottish tunes that are played very often in Cape Breton also, but they actually come from Shetland originally. And um Shetland's funny because they play everything that they play in Shetland is like stupid way too fast. Just like <laughs> just kind of hilariously fast cuz they're they don't have much of a of a dance tradition that kind of keeps the the speed in check so everything is just like because <laughs> you could just race around <laughs> they don't have step dancing and things that like yeah the step dancing really keeps the keeps the tempo to a, to a dull roar <laughs> so are we going to keep it to a to a i don't know we're gonna we're, like, we could do it a good tempo right yeah. so tatushkar miss susan cooper and milbray yeah Ooh, play me an e i just want to hear you okay Bow's totally flat. Any fiddle players out there have this problem in the summer when it gets hot and humid, that your bow just goes totally slack. No, my pick doesn't <laughs> go slack though. I basically, <laughs> basically, I'm playing on the stick right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna sound extra percussive. <laughs> <laughs> you can use a pick if you want. I know, right?
Lee. Hi, let's Oh yeah! Oh, that's right. Because we just played. <laughs> for those of yes, we actually did we play a set at Falcon. <laughs> we get around t today. In fact, we, we just play played Falcon Ridge just now. <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna do a blues tune? Yes. Just one completely out of character okay. for today. Cool. Back to my old boat, I'm gonna sail it if she'll float, cause I've got them deep river blues. I'm going back to Muscle Shoals, times are better back there, I'm told, cause I've got them deep river blues. I want to know if people can hear us out in the out in the internet land because I have oh I have there are comments now we have comments oh are June Drucker says she could rehear your bow for you oh sweet. and and uh, <laughs> 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 want to do four of them <laughs> they all need doing all four bow or I thought or no, I thought you meant four hairs four <laughs> 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 no actually I don't I don't saw through my bow hair like you'd think that I would no. I'm actually re I'm very very light. I just play very. It seems more ferocious than it actually is. Yeah. It's all for You're show. very efficient. <laughs> well, play I'm Shady Grove. 
play like oh, yeah. rip through that song. Oh yeah. A version of Shady Grove, Grove like you never heard before. Oh Shady Grove. I'm putting on. I do have a nice like foggy do on both of my both of my fiddles. <laughs> I don't know, it's like we're we're way down in like Mississippi right now. I know. So, so this is a version of Shady Grove. This is not going to be the one you're used to hearing. This is a bluesy version. But I actually got it from a Scottish singer named Chris Drieber. <laughs> and I don't know where he got it from because I haven't, I haven't looked into it. I should. But if anybody knows where this, one, where this particular version comes from, let me know because I either never knew or I forgot. It's one of those two things. <laughs> so wait, sing along with, it, with us if you want. The, the chorus goes, Shady Grove, my little love. Shady Grove, I know. Shady Grove, my little love. I'm bound for Shady Grove. You can handle that, right? You guys need to sing loud out there. <laughs> some slip jigs right slip jigs we're gonna slip the jig uh, this might be the first time we've ever played slip jigs um <gasps> live from exciting <laughs> these are cool <laughs> this is the first one's called soggy's slip jig which is exactly what you would think slip jigs would be called it was written by sean o graham and his sean o is like how you say little sean in um or sean jr sean in, jr in in ireland and um so his nickname became soggy at some point which is kind of funny which is that's, good for that's today. That's the story of that. <laughs> and then the second one is called Farewell to Wally Range by Michael McGoldrick. And do we, are we ready to? I'm ready. Yeah. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Thank you, Peter. Those were new ones that I threw at him. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry about no, that. No, 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 you did great. Slip jigs. <laughs> You know, it's like I know Play one music, it's all jig. about teamwork. Like if your teammate is going, oh, gosh, what's going on? I'm just going <laughs> to. I don't know. Could, could the camera see Work what you were doing with your foot? Cause, oh, cause ooh, that would be cool if you could. <laughs> <laughs> I assumed you could. But <laughs> <laughs> I should have made a little dance out of it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looked like a can-can down here. You can see it. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think I'm going to sing this next song for the last time in a while because it's not early summer anymore. And I sing oh. this all the time. But I also I want to hear you play the tune that goes with it. The, uh, uh, da -da 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 oh, that's Frank's Reel. Frank's Reel, right. Frank's Reel was written by John McCusker, one of my favorite fiddle players. He was actually a big mentor of mine growing up. He was one of my teachers. Oh, no. And he's uh, just parking. Oh, they're parking. Yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> he's, he's parking. Yeah. We will, it looks like, for those of you yeah. out there, it looked like there was stuff that our whole audience is going to get run over, but, but I'm used to it. Whoa. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. We've got, we've, got, we've got lefties in, in the audience, so they all think they're going to get run over, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but but this, is a, this is a peaceful protest here at 81 Crosby Street. I know, right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Go on to the place where the fishing is good. And the water runs free. I don't know the first thing about fishing, but we'll swim together, you and me. So we grab our summer gear and we head to the swimming hole. Our inner tube ain't got no fishing pole, but you got your poker, 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 now bathing suit. Poke a poke a poke a poke a poke a bathing suit. Poke a poke a poke a poke a poke a bathing suit. With or without it, you look so cute. In the early summer when the days are long, we're not used to the heat. When the river is high and the water is cold, the tadpoles tickle our feet. About our blues, take a ride off the road down the steep path and throw off the socks and shoes. And your poke a poke a poke a poke a poke a dot bathing suit. Poke a poke a poke a poke a poke a dot bathing suit. Poke a poke a poke a poke a poke a dot bathing suit. With or without it, you look so cute. You wanna do the tune? You were born in without your poke a poke a poke a poke a poke a bathing suit. Poke a poke a poke a poke a poke a bathing suit. Poke a poke a poke a poke a poke a bathing suit. Poke a 
poco a poco, poco a poco, 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 It's so funny doing stuff like that without the full without band. The band. I know. <laughs> it's already a cute song, but it sounds even cuter with just the two of us. I know. We really should just do it on two ukes or something. I know. That, would, that, would, that would totally. <laughs> the ukulele song. <laughs> exactly. Hey, if you're out there, everyone, I'm getting some comments. Hey, Roth and Kelman, <laughs> it's our it's neighbors and friends. So if you're out there, say hello because I, I like to see hello, people hello. say hello. And, and um, you can tip us, too. If you want, if you want, if you want to keep sustain us, it goes straight for musician benefits. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sugar Babe. Sugar Babe. I'm gonna switch fiddles here. G minor, right? Um, it's in G minor. This is my G fiddle. Everybody always asks me why. Why do you have two fiddles? And I'll tell you the story. So this fiddle is in G D G D a little bit different than the normal fiddle tuning and um, this fiddle also is a cool story this fiddle is um, 160 years old and it's French and it's kind of a Frankenstein monster like it's really been through the wars the neck was broken off at some point and if you looked at all of the gashes and, and scars on it you could think you wouldn't mistake this fiddle anywhere it's practically got bul bullet holes in it so I like to play blues on it <laughs> I'm gonna do another bluesy one. And uh, this one's called Sugar Baby.
<laughs> Sorry, I was trying to give you an eyeball there. Have we lost our feed? Oh, no, we haven't lost the feed. Oh, okay. It just doesn't play this way. <laughs> <laughs> no. Although when you're playing like music and you're trying to, like, get, like communicate with your with your band it's like you have to you have to do like what dogs do when they're like they they look at you and then they look at the thing they want you to look at and then they look at you and you know i was just talking like, to, I, mean? i've um <laughs> some friends <laughs> um i was out with last night who are who are classical musicians and um and uh did you did you lean into the mic to, to emphasize they are classical musicians <laughs> they're always classical musicians <laughs> But uh, but it's like we have it easy because we're folk musicians, and if something goes wrong, we don't have to. We we really um, we don't care really. We could talk. We could be <laughs> like, okay, you keep playing, and I'll fix this thing. But if you're playing like a Haydn piece in a quartet, and something goes wrong, you can't just abandon You've ship. Lost the rest you of the movement. Yeah, that's it. And uh, uh, yeah. Come back so next movement. Um, <laughs> but but out there, please tell us um, that you're out there because we like keep talking to us. Even just like you could just be like, yo, what's up? Like thumbs up. Thumbs down if you want to. You can just be like, this stinks. This is we terrible. need the validation. We just need valid constant validation. Even, even if it's even if it's like <laughs> not um, oh, Diane said it was. <laughs> even if it's even It worked. Even if it's negative validation. Well that's not it's validation really, that we, It's <laughs> really not though. Like we've all been joking about the constant validation thing because it's kind of funny, but you really do wanna it's like you get the energy of the room, you know if people are like are because we're constantly checking on you guys, like, are they bored? Are they tired? Are they hungry? Like what <laughs> what do we need to give them now? And we can't do that <laughs> through this thing. We don't know. We can't check your pulse, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? I don't. Know. Oh, wait, do you want to It's part of the it's part of the job that we do as entertainers. Let's trying to sh Should we play Let's play the fiddle tunes and then play little songbird after that cuz it's the same. Ah, sure. So, yeah. we're going to do Let's more tunes from the north. Some Cape Breton tunes. Some Cape Breton tunes. These are written by Jerry Holland. All in the same key. <laughs> oh, no. As it's the traditional way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get my foot pads on here.
was just getting warmed up there. We can't play Cape Breton tunes for only three minutes. That's just yeah. going to play for like 23 minutes. Well, maybe we should play more Cape Breton tunes. get into it. <laughs> <laughs> so many tunes we get freaking Oh, I play. miss Cape Breton. I usually go up there this time of year. I love spending time in Cape Breton, but... They don't want us. I can't get in the country. That's <laughs> so, so awful. We're the pariah so nation. Horrible. <laughs> it's horrible to not be able to go to Canada. I know. It's worse We're than We're at the home in world. Canada than we are, than I, I am here. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway. let's, so well, let's see. I want to, like, let's, let's hold off on Little Songbird. Let's do Crack in the Windshield and then do okay. Little Songbird. We can do whatever you want. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to save your song. Okay. Save it. Towards the end. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, well, thank you, everyone, for, for listening out there. And we love when you tell us how much you like us. If you, if you're oh. <laughs> <laughs> we only read those comments. <laughs> they right. make us cry. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Secretly. <laughs> This is the last song that we sing together. May it lift our hearts. May our voices be heard. Let us feel every word. May our voices be heard. Let us feel every word. This is the last string that we have together. Make it a slow one. May we pause and toast to this moment in time. May we pause and toast to this moment in time. Something is coming and it's coming slow The way the crack in the windshield grows Oh, how it creeps so Something is coming and it's coming slow The way the crack in the windshield grows How deep the crack goes together let's trust as we move through the space as we glide along our hearts will beat as one as we glide along our hearts will beat as one it's maybe the wake-up call the canary in the coal mine let's know normal isn't fine may this be the warning that normal isn't fine <laughs> Something is coming and it's coming slow The way the crack in the windshield grows Oh, how it creeps so Something is coming and it's coming slow The way the crack in the windshield grows How deep the crack grows For 12,000 years, stared at uh, built metal machines for a hundred or two, and we stared at screens for just a few. It's maybe the song that we sing forever, make it a soft one. Let our voices soar high as we stare eye to eye. May our voices soar high as we stare eye to eye.
Cause something is coming and it's coming slow The way the crack in the windshield grows Oh how it creeps so Something is coming, it's coming slow The way the crack in the windshield grows How deep the crack goes <laughs> Thanks for following that so well, Emerald I tried <laughs> Although I was playing the tune You know, have you ever play a tune and you're like I don't know this one actually I yes, was having all one of those, time. I don't I, know this tune I actually go through life, that's, that's actually the story of my life I pretty much walk through life saying, I don't really know this tune <laughs> And then I just improvise, you know <laughs> they all sound the same is the problem. Like, they do. <laughs> they really and do. after a while. Yes. <laughs> I know thousands of them. I They're all the same thing. Isn't it funny how we know these, like, literally thousands of tunes, <laughs> and they really are just... It's the same thing, <laughs> but backwards. <laughs> the same thing, but backwards. <laughs> um, let's do your song. Okay. This is such a great little song of Emerald's. Thank you. I shouldn't say little. That belittles it. it a little song. A it's a great song. It is a little song. It's, it's a little song about a little songbird. It's actually called Little Songbird. I do that in my own show, too. This is a little song. It just, it's just so, Everyone says it. It's so, that's the thing. so darn folksy. I wrote this little song. <laughs> How are you guys doing out there? Are you guys doing you're, good? Are you staying, staying dry, dry out there? Yeah. It's nice. Excellent. Uh, I'll just slam into it, shall I? And you're gonna play the banjo? Look, I'll come in tastefully. You'll come in tastefully later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you could play the banjo tastefully. Wow. Ooh, oh, stab. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> banjo joke. <laughs>
you. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Lovely. All right. This little whistle. Waltzes. Waltzes. Oh, yeah. Oh, this one's fun. <laughs> you know what's really funny is uh, people who are listening, I, we got Hannah and we have Telman, and they actually are my neighbors. So they're, you're list they're like one block away, and they're listening on the computer. You, <laughs> Hannah, you're allowed well, to walk rain. down here, and Telman, Telman you can walk it's down not here, too. It's anymore. And, yeah. <laughs> well, we only have about 10 minutes left, but you're welcome to be in my driveway, too. You can <laughs> run right now. <laughs> so where are all the people from California? Sometimes we get a, flat, a couple of times ago, we had someone from the United Arab Emirates Whoa. and Trinidad. Was it a friend of yours or just some it random person? It was a friend person? who had stuff, yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, someone I knew from years ago. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, yeah, it's kind of amazing. Cool. But it's even more amazing to have my neighbors one block away on the computer. It's like going, it's going up I there, <laughs> and then it's going through the wires, and then it's coming up, and then there they are. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they get the best connection. Right. <laughs> that is what great. What a weird world we They're live in. They're staying safe during COVID times. Staying far away. Where they I don't. They don't know where I've been. <laughs> I have no idea where I put my pick. That's so weird. Oh, there it is. There's okay. a white one over there. There, there are picks everywhere if I look, except <laughs> for when I need them. <laughs> you should just sprinkle them all all over your house and all over the porch. I should. You kind of you kind of already have. But yeah, they're, s they're properly sprinkled. All right, so we're doing we're doing this waltz. Oh yes, this oh, waltz. Oh, I love this waltz. So this is my favorite waltz in the whole world, and I I don't I don't get to play it at contra dances very often because the chords are all over the place and it's it's hard to jam on. But Peter went and learned all the chords, so this is very exciting. And we will try. It's my favorite waltz with my favorite two name of all time. It's called "She's Sweetest When She's Naked," which could be about a woman, but it also could be about whiskey. Also, it's a Scottish tune from the 18th century. And they had kind of like body double entendre humor back in those days. So it was widely, widely accepted. So that's the story of this tune. It's by James Oswald for anybody that's looking for to cite their sources today. <laughs> <laughs>
milked the ending there. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time I ever played that I right. I milked all the juice out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we, we only have one more thing left, but I really think we should do one more set of like really fast fiddle tunes. Oh, really? What oh. do you think? Um, sure, I can do that. We have to come up with them. Though. I happen to be a fiddle player. Oh, uh, I do wow. <laughs> I can do fiddle tunes. This is so fun. It's so fun. It's so, oh my gosh, it's so nice to play music. Oh wait, before, for people. Oh my god. So while I have a captive this audience, is such a trick. I can't even tell you. It's so I know it's like a real audience. <laughs> like, Three people, and I'm then like whoever really many people are. Really overexcited and telling every stupid joke I know because I'm, I'm overexcited. <laughs> so I just want to mention to the audience out there that next week um, I'm going to be doing this an hour later because I'm going to be in Maine for the week, and um, uh, I'll be starting at seven, and I'm going to have Cedar Stanistreet play with me again. Cool. So, because I know that he can just show up and play without a rehearsal. So, Yay, Cedar. so he's going to show up, and we're going to play a whole bunch of fiddle tunes and stuff at seven o'clock Cedar's instead of six o'clock. Fiddle beast. He's a fiddle beast. <laughs> he's the most the most <laughs> understated fiddle beast in the. In the <laughs> he's he's like, he just unleashes that fiddle, but I you know. never know it until he picks up the fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> um, and um, and you may donate to the musicians. The link is up there. Mm -hmm. Um. So, and Emerald, do you have a website people can go to? I do have a website. Uh, it's www.emeraldray.com, and that's R-A-E. And you can find me on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, all those things. Not Snapchat and not TikTok yet, but I'm thinking about TikTok after all the TikTok that's been going on. I know. I've, I've made, I'm actually motivated <laughs> to get TikTok to be part of TikTok. Anytime I'm Donald like, Trump says, don't do TikTok something. I have TikTok envy now. <laughs> 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 um, I've never had that before for social media. <laughs> oh, and Emerald and I, just so you know, Emerald is, is part of the Gaslight Tinkers, and we play, we have a whole bunch, we actually just played Falcon Ridge a few hours ago. We did. Um, we were there. We were there, sort of, <laughs> in a, a weird virtual way. But we also, I think we have some drive-in concert coming up in a few weeks. We have to nail down a date yes. in Western Massachusetts for the Gaslight Tinkers. Mm. So, um, But... What should we do for a tune? I don't know. What do you think we should do? Oh, my God. What, 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 what have we not done so far? Let's do Elzik's Farewell at Top Speed. <laughs> Wait, how does that go? Uh. Oh, yeah. And, let's that, do, that and then you choose a second good. tune. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll play guitar. I can play. <laughs> Just something? Uh, something really crazy awesome. Emerald Ray. Crazy awesome. Okay. The stakes are high. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure is on. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll play melody together. One, two, two one, one, two, three. Two, three.
Scottish. I need to do the crazy dramatic ending for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. They have those big chords because you're supposed to bow during the dance during that. You can do a big bow. That's right. So, like, <laughs> before before we end this, I just want to say, I want to ask Emerald. So, like, mm-hmm. what was your – Emerald, you're like, a, you're like a competitive – you were, when you were a kid, like a competitive fiddler. Yeah. So, like – I won the U.S. National Scottish Fiddle Championship when I was 18. And then I quit. <laughs> that's, that's what it does to you, right? And I, I competed for the whole of my, yeah, since I was 10 to when I was 18. And, and then I, I, won the big, I won the big cup, and then I retired. <laughs> it's like, it's like <laughs> gymnastics for, for fiddle. And then, yeah. And then mm-hmm. you're just like, okay, I'll do something else. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I'll just write songs for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's exactly what happened because, yeah, I used to be like this champion fiddle player and playing all these Celtic gigs, and now I just want to like write pop music. <laughs> that's <laughs> like all I want to do. You know, it's play funny. Blues tunes and write pop music. It's really funny. I know a lot of <laughs> classical musicians that it's like the, their taste in music is so bad besides the classical music. Like, all they do exactly. is they listen to, you know, they were like, a, they, yeah, well, they would listen to all just like bubblegum pop. Oh, yeah. Like they're well, playing you have like to. Shostakovich <laughs> and, and, yeah, it's like, or hey, playing Haydn and. Brahms and then going home and listening to like well Taylor Swift isn't that bad but you know yeah I think like <laughs> you have to you have to do something to, to to balance or just level out what's going on like every time I leave a fiddle camp where you're like in serious 24 hour fiddle zone like somebody's practicing or somebody's playing at 5 a.m. or whatever every time I leave one of those things I have to just get in my car and crank like Nirvana just like pure yeah. distortion just to level out but like, Nirvana is folk fiddle. music it is. It's I totally, think it is. I, I mean, it is. It's like, <laughs> I, I think so. <laughs> All right. And this oh, is so our closing song. And this is your this is your COVID number. I have to do. I have to oh. put my mask on. Should I, I should probably put song. my mask on for this, actually. I'm going to do it just because. Oh, can I talk about my mask? My mask was, this is my locally made mask. This was made by uh, Nancy Bell, who has a shop called The Right Fit, which is down on Cotton Mill Road. And, and she she's just a moved seamstress. Here. She just moved here. She's really awesome. But she made this, and she makes masks. So you should check, awesome. check her out if you need your, if you need a, an outfit tailored. She can make you a mask to match your outfit. She's awesome. So thanks, Nancy. <laughs> Some good's gotta come out of this. I'm gonna sing it well loud. I can't sing it with the mask. <laughs> Some good's Sorry. gotta come out of this. I'm gonna paint a silver light around that cloud. <laughs> to finally be the catalyst to turn a stranger into a friend. Could be the straw to break the camel's back. Just prevents the world's fiery end. Maybe it's the sign that we all reflect about how family time has been lacking. Could be the straw to break the camel's back to send the big fat orange man packing. Some good's gotta come out of this. <laughs> I'm gonna sing it till my vocal cords burn. <laughs> Some better times better lay ahead. Maybe now we'll give a little sanity a turn. I don't believe in old fashioned superstition or some great almighty decree. <laughs> Sometimes feeling a little hardship is a gift for you and me. I mean, look at the musicians making the most of it all, singing songs in their underwear. <laughs> They can't feed their kids. <laughs> and, but the audiences are still out there. Oh, take it, Emerald. Gotta come out of this. 
I'm going to sing it loud and clear. Some good's got to come out of this. Let's shift into a slower gear. Maybe we'll open up our eyes real wide and see the haves and the have-nots. Gonna slow down, look around, and take stock in what we got. Less air pollution, more time with the kids, fewer elevator farts. <laughs> for reflection, time for redemption, fewer moving parts. Take it again! Sing it way out loud. Some better times, better lay I'm gonna paint a silver lining round that cloud. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. And we'll see you next week on Live from Brattleboro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I'll be in Maine, but 7 o'clock time.